Remember this house in East Spokane? We talked about it back in November. The yard was trashed. People were doing drugs inside and visitors were stopping by at all hours of the day and night. The neighbors were harassed and fed up. Things look much different now and neighbors tell us they feel a lot safer. Since then, the homeowner has been removed, the house is boarded up and neighbors tell us now it's peace and quiet. Well, getting to that point is not easy, especially in the state of Washington. Emily Bloom is live at the house to explain what has happened since then. Yeah, Erin, Nia, this home was declared a chronic nuisance home. And as you take a look behind me, you can see things much different now than they were a few months ago while we were here. The windows and doors, they are boarded up. And the city hauled away nearly 33 tons of garbage from just the outside property alone. Holly Anderson, the next door neighbor, described the situation as chaos every night. Stolen cars all down the block, just people doing drugs in the yard. Being chased down the street by people wielding knives. One nine-year-old living in the neighborhood found a used hypodermic needle in their yard. City Attorney Matthew Folsom says in Washington, it's very difficult to remove a homeowner from their property. Action is only taken when community interests outweigh the interests of the property owner. In these cases, Spokane Police will make every effort they can to work with the homeowner. Notices, infractions, financial incentives, warning, and eventually sending professional mental health and drug counselors to the property. In this case, that didn't work. We just kept con contacting our like uh, resource officer and they said to just keep calling keep calling and then uh, mm -hmm. so we did that every time something was going on which was like every night. They were relentless in their efforts to get their nuisance neighbor out and it paid off. It's been so much better for our family just quiet no more chaos going on just if I feel like we can go outside without getting harassed by people. It's been really nice, very quiet. Yeah, it was really cool seeing everybody work so hard to get our neighborhood back. I'm told there are a few hundred chronic nuisance homes in the Spokane area and three of them that are close to this point. Reporting live in Spokane, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.